finish him. Kill the guy now. Grab the gun. Ah, what? what is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Yes, King Kong, sir. Eh? King Kong, you, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you've been fighting for your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your courses like but I have, made for you. I have you last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. We are changing that section to SCTV right now. And oh god, the baby wants to have your boss eh? Stupid boy. to online lecture on MTH 201, Mathematical Method 1. Last time we started partial differentiation. We discussed what partial differentiation is and some example, higher partial differentiation and the notations. This afternoon, we are moving a step forward and we want to discuss function of a function which is called chain rule. Don't forget I said all what we discuss under ordinary differentiation will be discussed under this partial differentiation. On ordinary differentiation, you are differentiating with respect to only one independent variable. But in partial differentiation, there may be more than one, two independent variables, which you are dif uh, differentiating with respect to. Now, let me revise, on, revise what we know under ordinary differentiation of chain rule. Don't forget, if you have a function f, and uh, this f is a function, or let me say, y is a function of u. Yes. Functions of u, the functions of u. Why this u itself, where u is a function of x? where u is a function of x. Now, if I want to differentiate this y with respect to x, yeah, I want to differentiate y with respect to x. That is where chain rule comes from. Don't forget I will find the y, the x will not be the u, the x multiplied by the y, the u. Under um, ordinary differential equation. I will write the total differentiation like this. If this u is one independent variable, and u is a function of x as well, but don't forget this thing, I can easily write the f, the x is the f, the u, times the u, the x. I can easily write that one. It means I want to differentiate this f function of u with respect to x, Why u is a function of x. Now, let us assume my u as more than one variable. Then what will I do? If my u now is a function as of functions of uh, sorry, my u is a function of x comma y. Yes. My u is a function of x comma y. And instead of differentiating it here, total differentiation with respect to x, if I want to differentiate this one, don't forget this y and this brother works together. Now, if I want to differentiate this one with respect to x partially, I will now have the f, the u, dot or multiply by the u the x that is with respect to x if i want to differentiate this with respect to y to be dot 
half the u times the u the y. This is with respect to y. So those are the things we want to consider. That is, if I have a function, inside that function there's another function. How do I know that it's a function and there's another function inside it? That is the major problem. How will I recognize a function? Oh, that will let me remember, oh, there's another function inside it. That's another problem there. There are many things we press in our calculator or we come across in mathematics. We don't know their functions. If I have x raised to the power n, there are two functions here. This function x is a function on its own. And this power is another function. That is why in your calculator, you press, if you see, if you want to press 2 raised to power 4, you say you want to go and press second function. It means there is a function. Then you need another function on top of it. This is a function of this function. Function of the function. Power is a function of function. For example, if I write my f plus 3x raised to power 4, this is a function inside this function. Function of a function. Then I will apply this brother. That is when I will change this uncle to you. Now, this one, if this one is my u, don't forget, now my u, if my y is this, this is my u. My u is not a function of x. Why my y is a function of u? As I said here. So, Another one, if I have root, look at it. If I y, y is equal to nth root of p, or let me write x plus y. Let me write that like that. Function of nth root of, this is a function, x plus y. And this root is another function. So I will know it's a function inside another function. Another one is if I have exponential x. Exponential is a function inside the index of this function. So those are the functions of function, and many of them are that. What you need to know is that if there is a, a equation given to you that the one you view is not what you can just differentiate that has another one on top or attached to it, that is a function of function. But if this thing happened, how do we do that under partial differentiation? Let us discuss examples. Then we see how it works out. Example one. It's going to say evaluate f of x f of y and f of z. Given that f of x, y, z is equal to exponential 2x cos y, z. Yes. We have that simple problem, and I want to discuss the problem. These functions of x, y, and z at the same time. We want to define them with respect to x, y, and z. Don't worry. This, looking at the question itself, is a product. We are going to use product rule. This is a function, exponential, and this is another function, cos of x, y, z. So product rule. But inside that product rule, there are many things we still need to do. Look at it. If I want to, I will do the first one, f of y. I will do it one by one. I will simplify it from the simplest, as if I'm teaching primary school students. Then the second one, I will move the way I want you to do it. Now, listen. Solution. f of x, y, z is exponential to x cos yz. 
if I want to find f of x, it means I want to find the die of exponential 2x cos yz the x. I want to derive that function with respect to x. It's the same thing as the, or let me do this one. I want to reduce coach product through. Let me keep this one constant and differentiate this. I will have cos yz the, the x of exponential 2x plus, I want to keep this one constant, the, the x of cos yz. The first thing I will do is, is this. Look at this function. There is no x there. Cos yz, there is no x. So it's automatically zero. The, of, the, the, the derivative of this term is zero. So all this brother will be zero. Because there is no x here. Good. I will now come here. This one is zero. Remain this brother. This is my, where my problem lies now. But look at exponential 2x. It's a function of function itself. If I want to differentiate exponential 2x, look at this. I will have cos yz. Now, I will now have this one, this 2x to be my u. I will now have the exponential u, the u. Can you see? I will differentiate this one now with respect to u, multiply by v of 2x, dx. What I've just done is that I've represented this one by u. du, dx, du, dx, times dy, which is functions of u, du. Now, this one will give me cos yz into, if I divide this one, it will still give me exponential u. Because differential of exponential is exponential u. It's a function there. Times, the derivative of this one is brother 2. Derivative of 2x is 2. Then this one will give me 2 exponential u cos yz which is equal to, what is my u? 2 exponential 2x cos yz. That is the answer for that one. Let me continue the second one here. f of y. My f of y now will be the of exponential 2x cos yz, the y, with respect to y. And that is equal to exponential 2x, keep this one constant, differentiate this, and the way you like the cos yz, the y, plus, keep this one constant, cos yz, the the y of exponential 2x. The same way, come here, there is no functions of y here. It's a function of x. So this, the derivative of this one with respect to y will be zero. So all these terms are going to zero. I will now come here. I will now come here. I want to differentiate cos yz with respect to y. And look at cos y z. I cannot differentiate cos y unless this, the angle in front of cos is a single entity. So I will change y z to a single variable. To a single variable. Then I will change it to u. I will now have is equal to exponential 2x. I now have the, the u. I want to change this one to u. 
cos u times the of u. That is y z the y. Can you see? The y, the z. Then I will differentiate this one. My last answer will be equal to exponential to x into, if I divide this cos u, to give me minus sin u. Minus sin u times differentiate y z. It will give us, with respect to y o, z. Multiply this one out will give me minus z exponential 2x sin sin u sin u but what is my u my u is y z and this one will be minus z exponential 2x sin y z i'll follow the same trend to differentiate for z for z now f of z Z and Y, they look alike. Almost the same step. I will just change this one to the Z. That is the only thing I will change under this differentiation. I will just change only this one to Z. And that is the exponential 2X cos YZ the Z. And this one will give me I will Hold this one constant, the the third of cos y z plus cos y z the the z of exponential two x. There is no z here. This brother will be zero. Then all this time will be zero. The, I will, it will remain this time. And that one will be exponential 2x I want to differentiate this one now I will name this brother u it will be the of cos u the u times the of u that is yz the z because I'm differentiating with respect to z now this one will give me exponential 2x into divide this one with respect to u cos u will give me minus sin u times divide this one with respect to z will give us y and this one is minus y exponential to x sin u then what is my u minus y Exponential to x sin y z. And that is all. That is all. If you, disc if you look at that differentiation very well, I didn't differentiate any second partial der derivative there. Everything are single first order differentiation. One time f of x, f of y, f of z. But if I want to take it to second order, then what will happen? Let us discuss a problem that will be solved by ourselves. All right. Look at this example. Determine all the second partial derivative of f of x, y is equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x squared y squared minus 6. Or the second partial derivative is 
Yeah. If I say on the second partial derivative of this two of this function, you know the function is a function of x and y. Look at it. If our f of x, y is x to the power four plus two x square y square minus six. This is a function of. Forget about what is there. See, if I can write the function of x and y, if any other variables here, then I don't care. But what I know is that the function that I will consider is x and y. Good. In that case, if I want to find all the second partial derivatives, it means I need to find f of x, x, f of y, y, f of x, y, f of y, x. I need to find these four because it's x and y. Now, what is f of x, x? f of x, x means the square f, the x squared. And that is the, the, the x of the f, the x. Yes. And uh, it's the same thing as the the x of the, what is my f? x to the power 4 plus 2x square, y square minus 6, the x. Yes, I want to differentiate that one. If I differentiate this one with respect to x, my answer will be the, the x of, now differentiate this one with respect to x. It will give me 4, x to the power 3, plus 4xy square. This one will multiply this one, 4xy square. Don't forget this product rule. Plus, if I want to differentiate this, if I keep this one constant, differentiate this to be zero. So I don't need it. And the derivative of this one as a constant is zero. Then, I will differentiate this one once again. It will give me 12 x raised to the power 2 plus 4y square. If I divide it with respect to x, this x will be 1, 4y square. And that is for f of x, x. That is f, x, x. Now, what is f, y, y? f, y, y is the square f, the y square. V is the same thing as the, the y of the f, the y. And it is the same thing as the, the y of the x raised to the power 4 plus 2x square y square minus 6, the y. I'll first of all, divide it with respect to y. And it will give me the, the y of, divide this one with respect to y. This one will be zero. There's no x there. This one will give me 4 s square y. This y will multiply this one to 4 s square y. And this one will be zero. Now, by the time I want to divide this one with respect to y, it will give me 4 x squared. 4 x squared. Because if I multiply this 1 by 4 x squared, then y will be 1, it will be this. I'm dividing with respect to y only. x will be looked at, will be considered as a constant. As a constant. Okay. The remaining two, I will do them. To, I will do remaining two together. The remaining two, x y and y x, I will do them together. But because before that I was saying since f of x y is equal to f of y x all the time. We have I've told you that one before f of x, y, it's got to f of y, x for every function given to us. Now, in that case, 
I'll find f of x, y alone. f of x, y is the square f, the x, the y. Means the same thing as the, the x, and the, the f, the y. Yes. And that is equal to the, the y, the x, sorry, into the x to the power 4 plus 2x squared, y squared minus 6, the y. Yes, with respect to y. If I want to divide it to that one with respect to y, I know what it is before. It will give me, what is it? With respect to y. It will give me 4x squared y. I will not have this one to be the, the x of 4x squared y. This one will be 0, this one will be 0, this one will be 4x squared y. And divide it to this one with respect to x. It will give me 8 x y 4 times 2 will be 8x y and this one is the same thing as f of y x and that is all that is all for that okay let me go for another question okay all right, let me rush this one. I'll just change the question. I'll call this one example three. Say, so determine all the second partial derivative of f of x, f of x comma y to be equal to lean s square plus y square. Lean s square plus y square. Yes, all the second partial derivative. In this case, look at, this is a function inside this function. x square plus y is a function. And lean, logarithm of a function is another function. This is logarithm of a function. Function inside another one. Two functions are together at the same time. Now, look at the solution to this brother. If my f of xy is equal to lean x squared plus y squared, then I can represent this one by u. x squared plus y squared. Now, if x squared plus y squared is equal to u, then my f, don't let me write f of x, y now. My f now will be equal to lean u. Isn't it? You can see that it's like I want to differentiate this one. f the u times the u the x. If I want to find f of x, x, it, be, it, it will be the the x of the of uh, lean s square plus y square the x yes it will be that the x square plus y square but this one it said this one is a problem if I want to define this one with respect to you now, with respect to x, this one will not be the, the x into, I will, this one will be the of lean u, the u, multiplied by, okay, the of x square plus y square, the x, because I'm differentiating with respect to x. The f, the u, times the u, the x. Now, in this case, the, the x into, now, differentiate lean u with respect to u to give us 1 over u 
times differentiate x squared plus y squared with respect to x to give me two x. Don't forget the derivative of this one with respect to x will be zero to give me two x. Now, I will give this one will not be equal to the the x of uh, one two x over u. 2x over u. But what is my u? What is my u? This one will be the x of... What is my u? It will be 2x over s squared plus y squared. Now, this is another great problem. I will now use quotient rule to differentiate this brother with respect to x. Quotient rule with respect to x and this one will be equal to okay let me write it another line don't forget the rule is v what is my v the one below that is s square plus y square v the u the x that is the two x the x minus u two x the v the x that is S square plus Y square, everything over V square, S square, Y square, everything square. Then I will differentiate that one. Differentiate this one, we give me, this one will remain this. This one, by the way, it will give me two. I will now have s square plus y square multiplied by two minus. This one will give me two x. If I divide this one, it will give me two x. Two x. That is two x times. Let me write in bracket. Two x over s square plus y square. Everything square. And this one will be 2 into x square plus y square minus 4x square divided by x square plus y square. Everything is about 2. Okay. Let me try and simplify this one. This will give me 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 4x squared over x squared plus y squared, everything squared. If I subtract this one from this, see 2x squared, 4x squared, I will get 2y squared minus 2x squared over s squared plus y squared, everything is power 2. That is f of x, x. That is f of x, x. So, depending on you, if you like, factorize 2 out and leave it. But let's leave it like that for here. Let me find f of y, y f of y, y, that is the, the y of, the of lean, oh, lean, s square plus y square, the y, s square plus y square, the y. I want to differentiate this one first with respect to y now. Then this one will give me the, the y into, don't forget this one is a function of function as well. Do not give me the of the u, the u, multiply by the of u, me, x squared plus y squared, the y. I'm dividing with respect to y. The f, the u, times the u, the x. My u is this. Yeah. Then from here, the, the y, 
um, this one, we may to transfer to you, the you. We have one over you times, we to this one, we transfer to it, we give me two y. Two y. And that one is equal to the, the y of two y over s square plus y square. Yes, my u is s square plus y square. I want to differentiate that one as well with quotient rule. With quotient rule, it will give me this. This one now will give me s square plus y square, the, the y of 2y minus 2y, the the y of s square plus y square, everything all upon s square plus y square, everything is to power 2. Yes, differentiating this one with respect to y will give me 2. This one will give me 2y. So we can see what changes there is that this one will change to 2 into s square plus y square minus 2y into 2y, everything or upon s square plus y square, everything square. Then from there, this one will give me 2s square plus 2y square minus 4y square, all upon s square plus y square, everything square. And uh, this will give me 2s square minus 2y square all upon s square plus y square, everything raised to power 2. f of y, y is equal to 2 into s square minus y square over s square plus y square, everything square. And that is the final answer. That is the final answer. Let me do, I told you f of x, y is the same thing as f of y, x. I will do f of x, y now. Then you will look for f of y, x. It's very important. Always find out f of x, y, and f of y, x. Because in a test, I may not ask you all these long things. I will just tell you, given this is equal to this, show that f of x, y is equal to f of y, x. Simple. Tin, tin. So I'm a lot of people who cause my generation. I don't care. Because it will not come to pass. Even angels of God will know I told you. So let me go for f of x, y. Now, I'll still the solution. f of x, y. Look at the way I will do my own. That is the, the x of the of this lean x square plus y square, the y. And that is the, the x of, I know the derivative of this function with respect to y once. I know it already. I know it somewhere. And that derivative can be found here. Where is it? This is the answer. Before I differentiate twice, this is the answer. Then with this, I want to differentiate 2y upon s square plus y square with respect to x now. Yeah. I don't need to go for y, y, y again. I know the solution already. That is it. I will put it there. Then this one will give me, with respect to x, quotient rule, s square plus y square, the, the x of 2y minus 2y, the, the x of s square plus y square, everything all upon s square plus y square, everything square. Here there is no x. Then derivative of this play will be zero. Multiply by all this, it will be zero. Everything will vanish. Then I will come here. Differentiating this one with respect to x, I will have 2x. 
Then this one will give me 0 minus 2y into 2x all upon x squared plus y squared, everything squared. That one will give me minus 4xy all upon x squared plus y squared, everything squared. And don't forget this one is the same thing as f of y, x. Verify that. Verify that. There's one important problem here, which I could take as last example under that F section. I will, I will do it. I will write the question and I will do two. Once I do two, I will leave two for you. You will go and do it at home. If my time will permit me to do two, if my time does not permit, you go, I will do one. You go and do three. Or let me do one. Out of my one, you see two there. And the question is this. Consider f of x, y is equal to actan y over x. Find f of x, f of y, f of x, x, f of y, y. Chicken. Now. That's what we are told to do. But I will find f of x, x. You know, if I find f of x, x, it means I have done this one with it. If I find this, it means I have done this. Do of them together, then I will find f of x, x. Solution now. My f of x, y is equal to actan y upon x. Now, look at my f of x, x. That is the, the x of the, the x of actan y over x, actan 1 over x. Twice, and that is the, the x of, look at this brother. If I want to differentiate this one, with respect to x, this is a function tan of y of x. I will now have the, the u of actan u times the of y over x, the x. But look at this one itself. It's a quotient rule. But that's not my major problem. The, the x of what is derivative of actan. Actan. If I differentiate actan, I will get 1 over 1 plus u square. Go and revise that. The, the, the variation of inverse trigonometric function. The derivative of actan is this brother. Times, if I want to differentiate this one now, it will be x, the y, huh, the x minus uh, y, u, the v, the x, v, the u, the x minus x, the x, all upon x squared, quotient rule. This one will give me the, the x of 1 over 1 plus u squared times, this one will be 0. There is no x here. This one will be 0. Then this one will give me 1. That is minus y over x squared. This one will give me the the x over minus y over x squared 
into 1 plus y over x. Everything square. This one will be square. This one will be square. Don't forget my u is square. But my u is y over z. Sorry, my u is y over x. So by u y as y over x, but here u half square. Y square over x square. Now, I want to use this x square to multiply this place. I will now get the, the x over minus y all upon x square plus y square. Because by the time this one comes here, it will be this. This one comes here, it will cancel x square. It will remain y square here. Then I want to differentiate this one with respect to x. The same process for y, y, the same process for y, z, y, x. Then I want to differentiate this one with respect to x. It will give me um, x squared plus y squared, the of minus y, the x, minus minus y, the of x squared plus y squared, the x over x squared plus y squared, everything squared. Everything square. Then, if I have that one, this one will not be equal to, this one will be zero. There is no x here. All this one will be zero. Zero minus minus y times, I divided this one with respect to x, it will give me 2x all upon x square plus y square, everything square. Then if I open this bracket, I will have minus times minus will be plus. 2xy all upon x square plus y square, everything raised to power 2. And that is f of x, y, y. Now, do it yourself on this, f of y, f of y, y. So, and uh, if you do that one, you will see that uh, yes, two x y y. I want to write the solution for you on each of them. That is what I want to do so that it will guide you to what you will do. Answer: f of y will be equal to x over x square plus y square f of y y will give you y square minus x square all upon x square plus y square everything square so those are the solutions you will get try them do them very well and have a nice day Happy Children's Day. Sorry that I didn't greet you from the beginning of the class. We'll meet next time. God bless you. Okay. Finish him. Be the guy now. Round the corner. What? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you'll be fighting off your dream. Eh? That's the reason why you have F's in your body, like but I have, special event for you. I have last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah, change that section to ACTV right now. And oh, God, the baby will be the first boy. Stupid boy.